we're out here in the herb garden and um, collecting some St. John's wort flowering buds. This is Hypericum perforatum, uh, which is St. John's wort. There are quite a few varieties of St. John's wort and it's Hypericum perforatum, which is the one that we use. Um, they grow wild um, all over Ireland. I know in this area there's probably about four growing wild. What I'm doing today is um, I'm making a, an oil out of the St. John's wort flowers and flowering buds for sciatic pain. Now sciatic pain is like a unilateral pain, so it means it's on one side, usually on one side of the body, that runs down the whole leg and the calf, and it's usually due to nerve compression or damage there, or a herniated disc. It can also be due to constipation, so in that case, it doesn't matter how much St. John's wort oil you're going to use on the sciatic pain, you really have to relieve the constipation to treat, treat it there. So what we're doing here today is uh, we're collecting these flowers. As you can see, um, the, the plant is in full flower at the moment. And the way this plant flowers is it flowers and buds at continuously throughout the whole summer. So you'll notice, hello B, you'll notice that um, some of the flowers are in full bloom and other flowers are just buds and some of them are kind of green buds, yellow buds that are about to flower and green buds. So what we're going to do is we'll take the whole flower and the bud as well. So here's a flower with the bud and the little kind of greeny bud as well. We're going to take the whole thing. Now if you don't have a lot of St. John's wort plants growing around you, if you only have maybe one like this, uh, what's a good idea to do is actually make an oil in this way. So a little bit different to how we made our calendula oil. With our calendula oil, we just pack the jar full of calendula flower heads and then we pour it over the oil and that's how we're making our cold infused oil. But on a plant like this, if you don't have a lot of it to harvest from at one go and fill up your jar straight away, what you can do is harvest continually throughout the summer and then top it up with oil and keep topping it up with flowers and more oil. Um, and in that way, you're still getting your strong St. John's wort oil um, just done more continuously. So I'm putting them all in the jar here. Now it's important to make sure that your jar is completely bone dry. There will be some moisture from the plant, obviously, but you don't want it to be wet inside because you're making a, an infused oil. So this is a cold infused oil. What we're going to do is we're going to pick a number of the plants, cover them in oil, and then we're going to leave them in a sunny position. So your, your glass needs to be clear. So just on a sunny windowsill is perfect. I'm going to leave it for at least three to four weeks, even longer if you can. And when you're doing it with a plant where you only have one plant, you're going to continuously keep adding to it um, plant material and oil. So the oil that we're going to use is, today we're using sunflower oil. And the reason I want to use sunflower oil is because it's heating. So different oils have different properties. Some are cooling, like coconut oil, and some are heating. That's <laughs> Kalambora Brewster in the background. And I do find that for a lot of people, if there's muscular tension or that kind of shooting nerve pain, which is what we're trying to treat with our St. John's water oil, that actually a warming oil is, is better. So heating is good. And even the action of rubbing, massaging in the oil is a heating action. And usually it helps soothe. Um, so I'm just going to pour the oil in on top of my flowers. So as long as they're completely covered, and then that's fine. And what I'll do is I'm going to put a lid on it. So I'll put that lid on that and I'll leave that to sit for a number of days. And as more flowers and buds are produced, as this plant does flower and bud continuously, I'll add more and more flowers to it. And um, now if you have a lot of them, you can just fill up your jar straight away. And what will happen is your oil is going to turn out like this. This is one, I think it did this maybe last week. So it's only been infusing for about a week or so and it's already turning bright red which is what you want and as you can see the plant material is completely covered in the oil now i'm not going to open this again it's completely covered and it's doing its thing what i may do with this is to make it double strength i may actually um, strain off the flowers and um, keep the oil the red oil and then put in more flowers and put in the oil again the red oil that you've already um cold infused so that will make a stronger infused oil and at the end of it what you're going to get is an oil like this, a really, really bright red oil. And it's just such a useful thing to have at home, especially if you do 
commonly suffer from uh, St. John's or suffer from sciatic pain. Um, and how you want to use it is you use it as a massage oil. Now, there's no point really massaging just along the um, pain that's running along the leg. What you really need to do is you need to find the point that the pain is coming from. So that's where the nerve is being compressed and you want to massage that point in particular. So you may need a partner to help you with that. So that's making your St. John's water oil. It's that easy um, and just a really useful thing for you to have. <laughs>